guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shay. I'm just kidding. What if I started every video like that? Would you still love me? Would you still love me? I need to know. If not, totally acceptable. <laughs> so today we're gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. Yes, I already have my face makeup on, but don't worry. If you like it, I just filmed a new, it's not a face makeup routine. It's actually a full face of first impressions. This was all new makeup that I just tried on my face and some of it I love, some of it I hate. So <laughs> stay tuned for that video. It should be up next. Also, if you can't tell, I think I mentioned it in the video I just filmed, but I think this is going up first. I got a new microphone, so let me know if you notice the audio quality being better. Fingers crossed you do. I worked on this for days trying to get it perfect, so I hope it is better for you guys. Please let me know if you notice. Today I'm gonna be using two of the new ColourPop palettes. I'm gonna be using the Mar and the Soul ColourPop eyeshadow palettes on my eyes. So listen, if you do not follow me on Twitter, first of all, what are you doing? But anyway, um, I was tweeting about these freaking eyeshadow palettes because they were stuck in my mailbox for about four days before the post office came out to help me. Now they've been out for a while. I figured let's just do a first impressions tutorial with them. I asked you guys on Twitter which you would like to see more and for the majority I believe Mar won but I did give an option to say would you like a combination of both and that beat everything. So I'm going to be using both palettes today in an eyeshadow look which I'm pretty excited about. It's actually what I wanted to do. These are available now. If you missed it you can find them on ColourPop's website. I will link them down below for you guys. These palettes, first of all, I love the packaging. I think they are so beautiful. This is the Soul palette. Love that they have a mirror in them. That's always, not my complaint, but the one thing I don't love about every ColourPop palette, and of course it keeps it more affordable, so I get it, but I wish they all had mirrors in them because I like to hold my eyeshadow palette while I'm doing it. So this is the Soul palette. This is the Mar palette. I'm so excited. Okay, let's just freaking get started. I can't wait any longer. Let me zoom you beautiful bitches in. Come here. I think I'm first gonna start in the Soul palette. I'm gonna jump into this shade here called New Digs. I'm taking that with my E50 large fluff brush from Sigma Beauty and I do have my brushes linked down below always if you guys want to check any out. I have a 10% off affiliate code, but please always know it is an affiliate code. Do not use that if you're not comfortable. That's totally fine. But I just want to give you guys the 411 and let you know what it is because I don't like when people don't state that they're affiliate codes. And I know you guys don't like that either. I mean, it's just, you know, a little shady shady. So anyway, blending this all over the lid. So next, I really can't, so we just prepped our lid with that one shade. I really can't stop thinking about these two colors. I just gotta use them. Uh, this beautiful shade in the middle here, this is called Motel. And there's a star on the label by Motel. So I don't know if it's Motel star, <laughs> Motel asterisk, I don't know, but whatever. We're gonna take this Motel shade. And it does look to be a little bit of a shimmer, but I'm still gonna try and kind of use it in the crease. I'm just gonna go ahead and build that up in here. I missed you guys so much. It has been a week since I had a video up. Can you believe it? I had like a random stroke of bad luck recently. So our air conditioning broke right at the like, it just got piping hot in New Jersey. It's almost 100 degrees every day. And of course, this is when our air decided to give out. So for days, we had no air conditioning. It just finally got fixed this weekend. And it was a silly, like it was something I could have done myself. But obviously, I don't know how the hell it works. So I'm glad it was an easy fix and we didn't have to get a new part or a new motor or anything for the AC. I just couldn't film because it was almost 100 degrees in here. And when I have my studio lights on, it gets so hot in this place. It gets so hot. So this is beautiful, this color. Oh. And then last week I did a video. I was kind of talking about some, what I called um, a beauty guru scam of just some things. I think some shady things I think some people are doing. I did a video on that and it got a lot of great feedback and it got a lot of new viewers and actually got me a lot of new subscribers. So if you're new to my channel, hello. But of course, along with, you know, new viewers, you get a lot of new hate comments. And so I was getting a lot of negativity at one point. And I was just like, you know what, I need a little break. I'm going to take these hot ass days in this apartment and not do anything because I just could not deal. And normally comments don't get to me too bad, but they started getting a little out of control. So I was like, okay, you know what, let me take this time to chill out. Let's also jump into this middle one here called, ooh, 
Ooh, it's like a beautiful neon coral. I'm gonna take that right on the edge of that one, start working it out here. I think I'm actually gonna be uploading this video on the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July if you're watching this. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I hope you're spending time with loved ones. We're gonna be going to my mom's, which I'm really excited. I haven't seen her in a long time. She just got back from vacay, so I can't wait to talk to her about that, see all her fun pictures. How beautiful are these colors? They are so just like neon and full of life, full of pigment. I'm really pleasantly surprised with the lack of fallout here too because they're quite pigmented and I'm not getting much fallout. Let's pop into the Mar palette. I'm gonna take top down a beautiful espresso brown. I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner. Just marry that in there. What are your 4th of July plans? What are you going to be doing? Or what are you doing today? I love hearing about you guys and what you're doing. I'm not just saying that. So just working this in. Same thing on this eye. Just carrying that over. I'm just really working hard to blend that in. I haven't picked up any additional eyeshadow. I really think I want to do a cut crease, you guys. So I'm going to take my little Sigma Cream Color E58 brush. No, I don't want to use this because I'm going to want to use that. No, I'll use this. Sorry, I'm indecisive. And I'm going to take my Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. Let's go ahead and pop that on. It's been a minute since I did a cut crease with concealer. I hope I'm not bad at it. Sometimes like you know when like you haven't done something in a while and you're a little shaky at it. So just, am I recording? Oh, thank God I am. Just like so. And then from here, oh, this is tricky because there's so much I want to do. There's like two different looks I want to do. I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm going to spray my brush just so it picks up this kind of glittery shade a little bit better. I want to take Anthem right here. Oh, dang it. I'm already messing up my cut crease. This one right here in the middle. It's kind of a rose goldy berry. I'm going to go ahead and place that right in the middle. I'm going to have to go in and touch up that cut crease later. Pop that on top, really right in the center. Center. And then on the outside of that, I think I want to take this middle shade in the Mar palette called Wild One and just layer that right on the outside. That's a beautiful color. Oh, I love both of these palettes. Like I was saying earlier, when I first saw them online, I was just kind of like, eh, they're okay. But now in person, the colors are so rich. They're so beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye and then we will finish up this look. All right, moving on, let's get going. Okay, so I'm going to take the Soul palette again. Again, and we're gonna go into nope not taking that we're gonna go into top down one more time with my favorite best brush in the world if you have a hooded crease if cut crease smoky eyes are difficult for you if you have a really small little area you need to get into with your smoky colors or else they'll hit your freaking brow bone like if you don't have a lot of space on your lid this is the best brush for that it is the Sigma Beauty E36 blending brush it is like a mini crease brush but it blends so beautifully and I'm just taking a little bit of that smoky brown color and you can see it will pop right on the side of your cut crease without disturbing the rest of your makeup it's it's amazing I've talked about this brush for years and years and years but anyway we're gonna use that right there where we had that smoky part just to blend and soften that out and add some depth there but I just love this brush because it doesn't take it too high up but it also doesn't touch your lid at all it's just it's necessary in your brush collection I'm telling you so just working that around how gorgeous is this lid? Mm. Next on our waterline, I am taking the Stila eyeliner pencil. Oh, please twist up. It's not twisting up. Oh no, this is brand new and it won't twist up. Oh, I actually have a, another Stila Lionfish, lucky enough. So I'm taking Stila Cosmetics Lionfish eyeliner and I'm going to tight line with this. It's a nice smoky brown shade. And then go ahead and blend out with a pencil brush. And then on that lower lash line in the Mar palette, I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is called Sorbet. And let's smoke Sorbet right over that liner. Back and forth, this is my Sigma E41 blending brush. I love these palettes, you guys. I just love all these colors. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of this shade here, which would be called My Way. It's kind of like a metallic bronze. And I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line to get that to pop just a bit more. Wow, that is pigmented. Ooh, wow, it is thundering like crazy outside. It was just sunny out. It's crazy how the weather changes. And then on the inner corners, because there's not really a shade in these palettes that is light enough for my skin tone for a highlighter, I'm gonna take this Super Shock Cheek. It's new, it's called Double Down. Looks like this. It's a pearlized finish. Ooh, pretty. Add that right on the inside. Then I'm also going to take some on this little smudgy brush. This is the E20 short shader brush from Sigma. And I'm going to pop that right underneath my eyebrow. Give it a little extra glow. 
And while we have it, let's just add some of that to the face. So a little on the tip of the nose there, and then down the center. And then of course, let's add some on the cheeks. What was I thinking? Mmm, she is beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. So next for lashes, I'm gonna try this brand I've never tried before. I believe it's by Ardell. This is Salon Perfect Lashes, this is what the packaging looks like. And these here are the lashes. These are the 650 lashes, and they're supposed to have like one of the smallest bands ever. You know, the band that holds the hair sometimes, like on um, specifically, I think Huda actually, Huda Beauty's lashes. I love her lashes, but I hate how thick the band is. So these are supposed to be really thin. They have their own glue too, so I'm gonna try the glue. I've never tried these before. All right, and I'm gonna pop these on. This little lash applicator is also by Ardell. And I really like it. Okay, and now just to kind of seal that band, I'm gonna take some liquid liner. This is the Tarte Sex Kitten Liquid Liner. I'm just gonna run that over the top. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything crazy. Next for lips, I'm first gonna line with ColourPop Cosmetics Faded Lip Liner. I love this color, I've not used this in so long. Oh, that is so beautiful. Faded is so beautiful. If this is still available, I'm gonna order a few more because I forgot how much I love this color. And then to top it off, we're gonna try one of the new Ultra Blotted Lip Shades. This is ColourPop Cosmetics Soda Pop. I love the Ultra Blotted Lips. I was so happy to see they came out with some new shades. And that is it for this look, you guys. What do you think? I love these eyeshadow palettes so, so much. I think if you're really into your warm tones and your fun summery shades, you will love the Soul palette. But also, if you love your blues and you love your aquas, which I'm gonna do another video with this, another look, because I need to get into that center blue. It's just driving me crazy. I couldn't find a spot that it would kind of fit into this look very well. So I definitely wanna use this palette again. I just think it's absolutely beautiful I love them both I love them both so much again like I was saying when I first saw them online I thought they were nothing special but now playing with the colors and seeing the different tones and how they kind of shift they're beautiful they're absolutely gorgeous colors as always you guys thank you for watching my video today let me know what you would like to see next if you wanted to take a closer look at the products I use today or the makeup brushes everything is always listed in the bottom box down below for you guys thank you for watching have an awesome holiday be safe be happy and I will talk to you again in my next video bye